This video is not meant for children and is brought to you by support from Patreon. Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am Maester Alix, and this is Hard Space Shipbreaker Final Episode. And before I get going, I really would like to thank everyone who left comments and thumbs up and all that wonderful YouTube stuff on the last video. I know it's just a little click for you, but it is such a big deal for me, so thank you all so very much. Now, where were we? Oh yes, Hal. He had uh, really thrown his authority down and brought everyone down. So, let's see what kind of aftermath that has. and ready. Let's push our output even higher today. Identify, quantify, solidify. Yeah? Yes, sir. Good man, Kaido. Seeing some real progress with you, bud. Thanks. You too, 52. Nice work out there. Now, Kirazan, for someone who's been at this for so long, I expect more from you. Oh, you do, huh? Why don't you come on down and give me some pointers in person? Um, how about you can the attitude and do your job? Uh, uh come again? Nothing, sir. Robert reports looking good, folks. I think things are really turning around here. Joseph, when I leave, eventually, what are you gonna change to keep profits up like this? When are you leaving? When this team gets its respect for the company back, which, at this rate, seems like never. So, what do you say, Joseph? Well, truth be told, I don't think I could ever do what you do. How? As you can see, and hear, the more that Hal demands respect, the less Hal commands respect. And people are starting to snark off at him and, you know, see through his ploys and crap. So, I think it's time we take some more positive action. And who is more positive than our good friend, Lou? Rook! It's Lou. Link's spam filters are the worst. You can send damn near anything through them. First, I'm fine. Life with Link's property sure isn't much of a life at all, but at least I'm home. It's been good to be back with my old man, and he's overjoyed. Now, here's the important thing. Link thinks bringing the hammer down with Clause 19C stop the union, but au contraire, it's actually pushed so many more people to their breaking point. The group's even bigger now, and we've even got the ear of the Stellar Commission. They're reluctant to act, of course. But if enough of us make a fuss, we can make it too big for them to ignore. So, remember my idea for industrial action? The Union's in, and I told them I know the perfect crew to kick it off. I've sent the instructions to Weaver. Talk it out. If anyone wants to pass, I get it. Oh, one more thing. I think Kaido gave Hal access to the Union News Group. That's how that schmuck got my message. Silly kid. Probably feels mega guilty. I already let him know. I don't blame him. Go easy on him yourself, all right? Good luck, Ruck. Whichever way things go, I hope we get to meet for real someday. Lou out. Cutter? <laughs> I see you uh, gotten your free prize. Kai, you hear? Yes, sir. Now, Kai, I owe you an apology. All of us up here just doing what we think's right at any given point in time. I'm sorry about everything. I know, kiddo, I know. You're good, Kai. So listen, we have before us an opportunity to do what's right by Lou 
and every other shipbreaker out there. And I can tell you, it ain't gonna be easy. This will bring the wrath of Lynx down harder than a hippo in a hurricane. Honestly, I don't know how much worse things could get. Unless Lynx wants to can all of us. And frankly, I could use the R&R. &R. The only thing we have to worry about in the short term is how. And I got plans for him. If everybody's on board, that is. Screw it. I'm on board. Kai? Yeah. Yes. I want to do it. I want to make this right. Good on you, kid. Also, what's a hippo? You can't be serious. <laughs> okay, okay. That just leaves you, Cutter. Start tomorrow. I'll arrange a certain ship to show up on your job board. It'll always be there. So when you're ready, claim it. We'll take that as our cue. Take your time and snag it when you're good and ready. Now, go on and get some rest, y'all. Weaver out. And this is where things get really exciting. In between this clip and the next is where you're supposed to watch my bonus video of me tearing apart a ship in the worst possible way. However, since it's 37 minutes of me not talking, I left it as its own video. You really whooped them out there, Cutter. I'm proud of you. Hal overstepped, and he knows it. We cornered that bobcat. And he lashed out. But you saw him. The terror in him. He was scared of us. And now that we got the ball rolling, other crews will follow suit. Oh, and don't worry about Kaido. He'll be out of commission until there's a new backup in place. Just gonna be another hit to the profit reports. Hal's only made himself look even worse. <laughs> and not just to Lynx. See, Comms is recorded every shift. Standard Link's procedure. Uh, it's possible today's recording has already made its way into the hands of someone who can share it with a wider audience. I don't rightly know where things go from here. But I do know that tomorrow's feeling mighty hopeful. I'm proud of this crew. Rest easy, Cutter. Weaver out. Kaido Kovechkin, your backup data is officially deleted. The wheels of bureaucracy turn slowly. And when you come back as a useless, gibbering blob, we'll make your family pick up the bill. But... Turns out you can grease them with a little bit of public controversy. Link scrambled to get some goons together. Of course, put us back in line. But the news was already all over it. Things happened fast. Even quicker than we'd hoped. The Stellar Commission actually stepped in. They deemed Link's Everwork program a human rights violation. The Commission recognized the Union and then forced Link's to the table. And there really wasn't much Link's could do at this point. We agreed to keep the Everwork program, to continue protecting workers. The job's still dangerous after all. But we demanded some major changes to the policies. First, full reversal of the huge fees forced onto the program's participants. Then, complete removal of clauses like 19C. Their whole bag of tricks designed to strip us of our rights. Almost overnight, our humanity was restored. Lynx also ditched their swarm of administrators. They no longer served a purpose to the company. As for Hal Rhodes, Lynx couldn't ignore that he was at ground zero of our revolt. He's right back at his old job, processing real backbreaking work. Calicia Rye Paulson went untouched of course, and everything on the administrators. Her and the rest of her family continue to operate and profit from Lynx. 
some of us will continue to fight. Others, they're just happy to get back to work. And with that, the story of Hal Rhodes is over, but that's not the end of the whole story. Oh no, no, no. There's at least one more little thing that I would like to show you, and I am probably the happiest about this. I love this little extra ending here, so please buckle up. Morning, folks. Today's the day we finally get back to work, all proper-like. And welcome back, Lou. It feels great to be back. And I'm ready to race. Anyone wanna? Come on, kid. You just got back. Whoa, whoa, why don't y'all play it safe today while you clear the cobwebs, all right? Well, <laughs> ah, maybe another time, Lou. Oh, but glad you're back. Kaido out. I, uh, I should go keep an eye on that kid. Well, I got a rusty old javelin with my name on it. See you out there. Spare a moment, Cutter. Couple things I gotta talk to you about. First off, go ahead, look out your viewport for me. <laughs> That's right, finally got Beulah to impound. Took a fair amount of sweet talking and a touch of barring. Anywho, thought you'd be keen to get back at fixing the old girl up. Which brings me to my next point. Open up your employee terminal for me. Access that new option there. Contract status. New mandate. Employees require a clear and simple breakdown of their contract status. Now, what I wanted you to see is you can also end your contract from here. However, there's two prerequisites to parting ways with the company. First, you gotta clear your debt. The new regs wiped out a ton, but some folks still got a bit of work to do to get in the green. Second, you need personal transport off station. That means old Beulah needs to be fully operational. Once those requirements are met, you can take the out, if you want, of course. If you're just as happy salvaging away, by all means, keep at it. Okay, close all that for now. I got one last thing. I want to talk about. Now, this might come as a bit of a shock, but an opportunity's arisen for me, Earthside. One of them chances you gotta grab at for it gets away. What I'm saying is, well, <laughs> I'm retiring. Today, in fact. I'm trying to go out on a high note, as they say. Dee Dee's gonna run things while corporate figures out a replacement. Might not be as talkative as me, but she'll keep the rudder true. I wanted to wish you luck, Cutter. I'm glad we got the opportunity to work together. And who knows? Maybe you hear from me again sometime. <laughs> Weaver out. So I don't talk over what's coming up next because it's truly excellent. Here is where I'm going to say... Thank you all for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this series as much as I've enjoyed making it for all of you. If you do, you know what to do. Otherwise, check out the links down below. Do watch this video to the very end because this is the really epic ending to the game and it is so incredibly good. But with that being said, thank you all for joining me and I shall see you all on the next series. communication privileges are revoked. Please remove all personal belongings from the habitation module.
means you and Beulah are well on your way. Away from Oregon Station. Away from Lynx. Hopefully, I'm sipping pina coladas surface side right now. Watching the nephews splash in the waves. You know, when I first took up the foreman gig, I figured it was for the money. Then, it got so the money didn't matter. What mattered most was doing right by all you kids coming up. I was already starting to understand that the game's rigged. <laughs> you know, Lou was right all along. If I could go back and do right by her, I surely would. Folks like her, who fight tooth and nail for the good others, they, they keep the rest of this world honest. Without them, well, let's just say that honesty doesn't exactly occur in abundance naturally. What you're embarking on right now is the dream. <laughs> and you earned it with your own sweat and blood. You're heading into the great wide open. And from here on out, you got no master but yourself. Now, that doesn't mean it's gonna be all sunshine and rainbows. There's as much bad as good out there. As much failure as opportunity. As many enemies as friends. But I know anyone can make it out there. It's you. I wish I could see what you do. What you make of yourself. Promise me one thing. When you get to wherever it is you're going, you send me a postcard. Weave around.